we are done with ddl commands let's see dml data manipulation language dml commands query and manipulate data in existing schema objects dml commands are insert update delete and merge these commands do not implicitly commit the current transaction unlike ddl commands we need to explicitly commit all these dml commands let's see first one insert it is used to insert data into table we can insert data in different ways uh, let's see first method insert into table name and we need to pass values for all the columns within the table we have already one table student within our database but we don't have any data within this student no rows are there let us insert data into we can insert data into table like this insert into student values you need to pass values for all the columns here we have four columns so i am passing four values but we change that student table name to stu so change that student table name one row created and one more row these two rows are inserted into table stu insert command can be used in another way also if you want to enter more number of rows uh, this kind of syntax will be more convenient insert into table name values we need to add this substitution symbol ampersand and column name ampersand and column name two like that let us use this syntax to add some more rows insert into stu values we need to add ampersand and column name SID here. Yeah. Name percent. Another column name. Name and age for this also. Ampersand. GP. It is asking for user input. Enter some student ID. Suppose B141162 and press enter. It will ask for name. Age 24 and his GPA 9.7. One row created. If you want to enter one more row, you can type this forward slash, it will again ask for next row. SID B141163 name age 23 GPA 7.8. Like that. If you check the data within the table, select star from stu this four rows are there within the table we inserted these two rows by using second method we can even insert we can even insert only values of some columns suppose in the previous example for each and every student we entered all the four values sid s name age and gpa but suppose you want to enter SID of student and GPA you want to skip name and age of student then you can use this kind of syntax insert into table name you need to specify which columns you want to enter data column 1 column 2 values value 1 value 2 here actually we have four columns if you want to enter only SID and GPA we can use like this insert into student of SID zp values b141164 zpa 8.9 actually we did mistake while creating the table we didn't enter this name as zpa it is as zap so let us change that to zap one row let's check data within that this fifth row we entered only student id and gpa let's change this column name to gpa table alter now this is gpa okay let's see update if you want to insert values into particular cell we used to use this command update like here i want to 
enter s name of the student v141164 means i want to enter data in this particular cell means within the table we have some data we want to modify that data here we have blank means null value we need to change that to some other value suppose i want to give some name to this student update stu set here s name i want to set s name for the student d141164 see here rows are not updated because this column names and table names are case insensitive but data within the oracle is case sensitive see the student id capital b but here i have given small b so let us change that one row updated now we can check the data within the table for this so raj is added to for this row if we want to add the age for same student suppose 24 If you give command like this, set GPA suppose seven point eight without where condition, it will change GPA of all the students. Five rows updated. If you see the table, all rows are updated. Let's see delete. It is used to delete all rows or particular rows from table. Syntax is delete from. table name means all rows will be deleted from the table if you want to delete only particular rows you have to use where let us delete this last row means particular row so we can use that by using where command delete from table student where sid is v141164 one row deleted if you check the data only four rows are there that last one deleted from the table if you want to delete all the rows you can remove this where condition four rows are deleted if you check the if we check the data no rows are there but table will be there within the database let us check the here we have table but only data deleted from that table but if you use the drop command enter table structure will be deleted including with data both commands truncate and delete will delete the data from the table but the difference is the truncate will delete the data from the table permanently but if you use the delete command we can get back that data by using roll back means if you don't commit we can get it back the deleted data by using roll back